Good evening, everyone. My name is Lawrence Murray, and I am the Dean of Admissions at the Gabelli School of Business at Fordham University in New York City. Um, next slide, please. I am here to talk to you about our variety of specialized master's programs. Uh, as you can see here on the screen, uh, we have a couple of different verticals with a variety of different specialized master's programs. In the analytics space, uh, we have the three programs, Applied Statistics and Decision Making, we have Business Analytics, and we have Marketing Intelligence. Uh, for the information, business technology area, we have the information technology degree. In finance, we have two programs, global finance and quantitative finance. In the management area, we have three, man, a master's of science in management, a master's of science in media management, and a master's of science in strategic marketing and communications. And finally, in the professional services, we have two accounting-based programs, a professional accounting program and a professional taxation program. I think it's important to note that all of our programs are STEM designated programs with the exception of the Masters of Science in Management and the Masters of Science in Strategic Marketing Communications. Next slide, please. While you are going to receive top-notch uh, academic curriculum and rigorous and, and industry-leading curriculum in the classroom, we strongly believe in educating well-rounded leaders, graduating leaders who are going to go out into the community and do great things, whether that's um, in their company or in the communities in which they serve. Part of that well-rounded development is around leadership development. So a few years ago, we created the Gabelli Leadership Certification. Now it's called the Thoughtful Leadership Certification. Um, it is a requirement for all students who are in our Master's of Science programs. Um, they do this alongside their coursework, uh, and it is comprised of a series of leadership assessments, leadership simulations, leadership coaching, and leadership networking. We know that you're going to graduate with really strong technical skills in one of these specific master's programs. We also know that employers that are looking to hire students in either internships or in full-time jobs, they're looking for strong communication skills and strong leadership skills. And this is our opportunity to make sure that you graduate with strong leadership skills. Next slide, please. Uh, we know that students are, uh, who are coming, who are pursuing graduate business degrees are really looking for a job. Of course, they're looking to, to develop a, a core skill set um, and knowledge and information in a particular area. But, you know, let's make no mistake, you're looking for an internship and you're looking for a job. Uh, we have a full service career development office that supports the students in the graduate division of the business school. Here are a handful of the companies that are represented by the members of the career development staff. So they've worked at these companies over their lifetimes, and now they're taking the expertise from those companies and bringing it to the Gabelli School uh, to share that expertise in helping the students attain their career goals and professional aspirations. And as you can see here, uh, these are some of the world's top uh, top corporations. Next slide, please. Through the Career Development Office, there are a wide variety of ways to engage with them. There's one-on-one -on -one career advising. There are specialized workshops and group sessions. They have simulated interviews so that students can practice their interviewing skills. Uh, they have, we have a really strong alumni networking program. And then we always have a series of spotlight speakers um, that actually come every Friday. Um, and they do, it's either one or two uh, now in COVID when everything is virtual, um, we actually have two speakers every Friday. And those speakers are from uh, one of the a Fortune 500 company usually. And they're an alum and they are there to share insights and information about their career. Um, the decisions that they've made to get to their career, and a little bit more about their company or organization. Um, we do on-campus recruiting, company visits, and, and corporate information sessions. Prior to the current um, healthcare pandemic, this was done in person. Um, now it's all virtual. Um, and I have to say, you know, so I know that some students are a little skeptical uh, about the virtual aspect of, of pursuing um, a degree, but we've actually had the opportunity to really increase um, our engagement with our corporate partners being virtual um, because more students can go and it's less of a burden for companies to come on campus, even though many of these companies are right in New York City. It's just it's an easier way uh, to engage with a, with a larger group of students. So we've actually enjoyed uh, an increase in on-campus recruitment. Next slide, please. 
I mentioned earlier that students are interested in getting internships and jobs. Here are a few of the companies, a sample of the companies that students um, go to for their internships and their full-time jobs. As you can see, it's a wide variety of, of top global companies. Next slide, please. Uh, we are in the heart of New York City, right here in Manhattan, literally in the middle of New York City. Um, there are almost 10,000 uh, Gabelli School alumni in the New York Tri-State area. Uh, the Tri-State includes New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut. There are more than 40,000 alumni from the Gabelli School uh, around the world. And then we have access to nearly 200,000 uh, Fordham University alumni around the world. Um, we recognize that in this current um, pandemic that's affecting you know, everyone on the globe, uh, that economies are, are feeling the pinch, they're feeling the pain. Um, that, is, that is no different than it is here. Uh, we've, uh, I, New York is, it might be a little bit different in that uh, the organizations here have the opportunity to weather these types of, uh, of storms a little bit better than in other places. So uh, with our graduating class of MS students last year, um, the majority of them either had an internship um, or a full-time job. So we didn't see uh, a whole lot of negative impact of the, the shift in the economy. It's still a little too early to think about uh, what's, what employers are going to do for next year. But right now, it seems that they're still interested in hiring uh, graduate business students. Next slide, please. Well, we want you to come to school and 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 really uh, engage in the classroom. We also have a re an expectation that you're going to engage outside of the classroom, uh, and that includes joining student clubs and organizations. So here's a quick sample of some of the student clubs and organizations uh, at the Cabelli School. As you can see, there are clubs that are more career focused, the Fordham Finance Society, the Management Consulting Association. There are industry focused clubs, the media and entertainment industry. There are affinity groups, the Fordham Women in Business and the Black and Hispanic MBA Association. Uh, and there are uh, specialized clubs like Net Impact. Um, we also have a Chinese Business Student Association. And we also have special interest clubs that are around sports and other types of activities. We actually have a table tennis club uh, and we also have a wine club. So for those students that might be interested in wine, but we do have an expectation that you're engaged outside the classroom. If your thought is that you're coming to graduate school just to study and just to be in the classroom or the library, um, this is not, probably not the right place for you because we have an expectation that you're going to get engaged. Next slide, please. Our application requirements are very similar to what you've already seen this evening. A resume, your transcripts, um, you have to get your transcripts evaluated. GMAT and GRE, some of our programs have waivers or a test optional. You can go to our website and see that for those test scores. Uh, we still do require the language competency exams, the TOEFL, the IELTS, the PTE, the Duolingo English test. All of these can be done at home. Um, so you can um, definitely take advantage of that. Essays, recommendation letters, and then an admissions interview. Next slide, please. Here are our application deadlines. This is pretty cut and dry. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, as you can see, we offer a variety of deadlines um, for the fall term. It's what we're really talking about right now. Um, you choose the deadline that you think is going to allow you to submit the best application. Uh, if you have any more questions about the deadlines, feel free to reach out to me directly. Next slide, please. Here's the information about our tuition. Again, pretty straightforward. You've got the tuition, you've got one-time fees, and then you've got ongoing or recurring semester fees. And all of this information um, can also be found on our website. Next slide, please. We do offer uh, merit-based scholarships as well as a few other funding sources to help students fund their education. Um, we have uh, merit-based uh, scholarships that are offered at the time of admissions. Those range from 15,000 to 35,000. Uh, we have uh, graduate assistantships where you work with a faculty member or an administrative office. We partner with a few student loan companies and then we have uh, continuing student scholarships. Next slide, please. There are a wide variety of ways to engage with us um, virtually. Um, again, you could go to our website, go to our uh, Chinese microsite, or connect with me on WeChat, and we can discuss if you're interested in finding a way to get involved. Next slide, please.
Um, just a, a quick reminder of some of the things that we've done in response to COVID-19, test waivers. Uh, we've extended the deadline, a big investment in, in technology and instructional design, online courses, uh, strict health and safety protocols, and then obviously on-campus density re reduction. Next slide, please. Here's a list of all the contacts for the admissions office. Uh, they're associated with the specific programs. Next slide, please. And there is uh, where we've reached the end of our little session uh, this evening. Uh, there's our WeChat. Um, so please feel free to reach out to us directly. Um, and now I think we'll we'll take some questions. We can do our Q&A session. And, okay. Uh, um, how uh, the student asked, how is the weather in there? Like how is the weather in the university or city? Well, right now it's raining. I mean, it, it's New York City, so there are definitely four seasons. You get a, a really uh, defined summer. Um, you get a really defined fall. Right now we're in fall, uh, and winter, and, and spring. So right now it's raining, and it's just started to shift over from fall weather into winter weather. All right, cool. And, uh, okay, we do prepare some interesting questions for you, and we're going to wait okay. some other students ask other questions. So, uh, what schools' actions to COVID nineteen like? What students would do if all the language center are closed in China? Yeah. So, as I mentioned in the presentation, um, all, nearly all of the the uh, language exams have an at home version, and I know that there still are some issues with the ETS and the TOEFL um, taking the TOEFL in China. But there still is the Duolingo English test. Uh, there's also the Pearson test for English and the IELTS, and they all have online versions, so you can take those at home. Um, so those are those are the options or the alternatives, knowing that some of the testing centers are still closed. Cool. And one student asked, how many Chinese students right now and during the COVID-19? COVID That's a good question. Um, we brought in 705 students um, total, um, and I think from China, there might be 220 or so students. All right. And uh, how school career center will help students to find a job? Yep. So um, as I, if you go back on, uh, if you, when you go back and look at the slide uh, for the Career Development Center, um, we do one-on-one -on -one advising. So each student um, is assigned a career advisor that's based on their program and their interest area. So if you are in one of the finance programs, you have the finance career advisor. So you work one-on-one. -on -one. There are specialized workshops and seminars. You work with your student clubs and organizations. You work with your faculty. So really on the career side, you should think of this in three ways. One, working with the faculty members. Two, working with the career development center. And three, working with the professional and, and the career clubs. So through those, the engaging and networking with those organizations, that's the strongest way to position yourself to be successful in the internship and full-time job search. Okay. Thanks for a great answer. So that will be all for your session today. Thanks so much for letting us, uh, right. let us know more evening. about them. Bye. All right. Bye-bye.